All right, welcome to my Megalodongle X update. What the hell is that? That's a this product right here, which is a PCB power strip to be able to connect a bunch of these ES4 36 volt scooter batteries together to make a big battery, right? This is um, 187 watt hour batteries, right? 20 cells. And when you put a bunch of them together like this, then you're building something like this, like it's a four and a half uh, kilowatt hour battery, right? So this becomes a real sizable battery. And what we're gonna do here tonight, we're gonna load it at 1C. Um, that doesn't seem like a lot, right? Because 1C is basically one capacity, so about four kilowatt uh, load. And that's what these four inverters are here for. So we're gonna connect those and then we're gonna start putting all that energy from the batteries back into the grid through these inverters, right? And so uh, then we're gonna keep an eye on this guy here to see the temperatures and see how it handles that 1C load. And then after that, we'll basically decide if this is good enough to, to sell like that or if we need to put bigger, you know, copper traces in there or bigger cables and yeah, we'll decide that, right? But this is the test that we're gonna do and we're gonna show you the thermal um, performance of this unit when it's on a continuous four kilowatt use. All right, so here we are. Now we're doing about, okay, this meter says 106 amps. This meter says 97. Let me see. Let me zero it out. Okay, let's zero it out. There we go. Maybe we'll get 95 according to that. 106 according to that. I don't know which one's going to be more accurate, but there we go. Uh, what are we doing here? Yeah, so 4.3 kilowatts right 15 to 20 minutes after uh, we started this test, uh, one kilowatt hour passed through the uh, PCB here, this power strip. The hottest thing that we can see here is those two fuses. Those are 80 amp fuses running about 50 amps right now. So about 80% of their capacity, right? And they're hot. They're just running around 80, 87, 87. Yeah, almost 90 Cs, 90 degrees Celsius. So that is, uh, I don't know, I'll have to look at the data sheet to see uh, if that's normal, but it seems like just fuses run hot. Uh, other than that, the hottest thing after that is gonna be those cables. Those are six American wire gauge cables, uh, and those are running around 60 degrees Celsius. Other than that, the board, it's running pretty cool. I mean, I think this is at 50 just because of those things. Those are creating heat. But yeah, the board is probably the last thing I have to worry about. I probably could push more power than that. But because those are fused at 160 amps and because this wire here, it's around 60, which by the way, that's a two, 200 um degree wire right so nothing's gonna happen at 60 degrees here it's uh you know it's, there's nothing dangerous uh it has way much more room to go right but of course you don't want your wires to be running super hot all the time but this is uh a continuous max test so we're running 4,000 watts 100 amps through this one board here if you need it more than that if you need it six seven kilowatt or something then i would always suggest just put more batteries 
Uh, or maybe you could even do less batteries, but you know, use the secondary one of these boards. So I'd say I'm gonna be able to rate these uh, this product at about a hundred amps, right? Or about four kilowatt uh, continuous uh, load. After that, you can do bursts of higher, but only for a few minutes, you know, until this stuff starts getting hot. Then it's gotta be going back. To four kilowatts. Four kilowatt continuous. Here we go, we just completed our test. We got these batteries down to 31 volts. Uh, we were able to get 4.8, almost 4.5 kilowatt hours out of 26 of these. So these are still have a lot of energy, more than the uh, rated 187 watt hours that are in here, right? Do the math. 4.5, um, let me see, 4.9 kilowatt hours divided by 26, and then you'll get to see which individual one. So there we go. This got hot, right, as we expected, but the temperatures didn't keep rising. They stayed the same as they were at, uh, at, you know, 20 minutes into the test or whatever. Um, yeah, the hottest parts are obviously going to be the, the fuses for some reason, and then the secondary to these wires here, the six gauge wires, and then this connector here. So they get warm, but, you know, all within spec. Uh, that's all 200 uh, degree wire. And so it's fine. These boards can also withstand about 200 degrees, right? Uh, before they start breaking down, but they don't get anywhere near around there. They get somewhere around 50 degrees, 60 degrees Celsius, right? Um, and uh, yeah, this is that test right there. Now we're gonna go back and charge this so that these uh, batteries again back to on go on service here. So when the lights are blinking, um, red that means that they're charging when they're blue is in their discharging so maybe this one for some reason stayed um it's higher voltage than all the other ones for some reason that's pretty weird but we're not charging very very much here we're charging only uh 1.2 amps right let's let's pick up that to something higher there we go now you see all those lights blinking so there we go, we do the about 15 amps. And there we go, now they're, they're blinking red. Here we go. Well, I guess there's still some blue ones. I wonder why those, oh, blue and red or something. I think what happens is that these are warm because they just got completely discharged. So maybe they're gonna Maybe that's what they're red and blue blinking at the same time, right? So we are getting some that are blinking different things. Uh, we'll let their, this charge in there and then see if any of them give us problems. So there we go, the testing continues on this guy, but also another one of those things that I saw is like, maybe to put it in there, maybe this is better where we do second tiers like that. We put them in boxes. Uh, we're going to experiment. So if you have ideas on how to box these correctly, post them in the comments because I can use all the help that I can get here on this, right? Uh, these were not as easy to box as some of the other uh, versions of the scooter battery. So there we go. Thank you for watching this video. We'll see you guys on the next one. Bye. Bye.